hi everyone ignore the background I am actually in my workshop but um, whilst I'm creating my products I also like to do the education alongside so this video is an education video this video is one everybody should see if you belong to my culture it's one you should share with everybody so people understand us and if you don't belong to my culture all the more reason to watch it because you will learn some stuff in today's video, I want to introduce to you the Ghanaian Akan naming system. This is actually common in many, many, many African countries, the West Africans in particular. But I'm focusing on Ghana because that's my reference point. When you are born, you are given many names. My name is Mami because I was named after my father's mother, my grandmother. My name is Ama and that's what I'm about to explain. When I finish, you would ask your friends' names and you can translate them and you can identify and have fun with your friends, understand what their names actually mean. I know that when you read it, it's Mrs. Omu, but yeah, there's a reason to it. Right, so let's start from the girls. We start naming from, let me do Monday to Saturday, okay? A girl who was born on Monday will be Ajua, Ajua. I will teach you the attributes of the address generally in a separate video. Today, I'm not actually working on the attributes. I'm just explaining the name. Ajua, A-D-J-O-A is one version of the spelling. A-D-W-O-A. In the actual Akan sound, it's A-D-W, Ajua. But people do the A-D-J because it's a little bit more easier for other people to read Ajua. When you are born on Tuesday, your name is Abena. My daughter is Abena. She was born on a Tuesday. Abena. Attributes will come later. Abena. Abena. I know there is an E there, and usually you get people doing the Abina, Abina, Abena. No. The E is actually almost silent. Abena. Abena. All right. If you were born on a Wednesday, your name is a queer. I know. When you read the alphabet, especially if you use the English alphabet sounds, you will say aqua. I guess that's also okay. But in the Akan sound, it's a queer. So it's almost a UI, a queer. If you can do aqua, that's fine. A queer is a Wednesday born girl. Thursday, her name is Ya. Y double A. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Most people say yeah. Well, I don't know. If you think it's yeah, that's okay. We'll work with that from the beginning. Yeah. And African sounds are actually, the Ghanaian sounds are actually throatal. The Akan sounds are very throatal. Yeah. The English alphabets are nasal. Our sounds are throatal. Remember that. Yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you were born on a Friday, your name is Efia, Efia, or Efua, depends on their local dialect. So yeah, Efia, A-F-I-A, Efia, I've seen people call them Afaya, which is interesting. I know, if Afaya is what you can manage, then that's okay. But the actual name is Efia, 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 or Efua. Or, in some tribes, a foie. Doesn't matter. Pick one. Work with one for now. You don't have to know all the variations at once, but we will work on this project in a sustained way, and ultimately, you will learn how to say this like a native. A fear. My name is Ama. Ama. A-M-A. -A. Or, some people actually do A-double-M-A. -A. Ama. Amma. So, and if you were born on, I was born on a Saturday, Saturday born, Amma. I have a sister called Akosia. That's the full name, Akosia. But that's a long one. So most people will actually go for a shortened version, Akos. Or sometimes people will actually do Ako. Akosia. Akos. Born on a Sunday. Let me go through them again. Ajoa, Monday, Ampina, Tuesday, Equia, 
Wednesday, ya Thursday, Efia Friday, Ama Saturday, Akosuya Sunday. You can rewind the video and practice them. So go check your own date of birth. Work out the day you were born. And that's the item you order. That's for the girls. For the boys. Same thing. If you were born on a Monday, you are Kojo. K-O-J-O -O is the easier one most people go for. But again, the full account spelling is K-W-A-D-W-O. Kwejo. Kwejo. Or K-W-A. Uh, some people do K-W-O-D-W-O as well. Kojo. Or K-O-J-O. -O. Pick one. Doesn't matter. On the brands, I actually type the traditional spelling just to pay homage. K W A D W O Kwejo, born on Monday. A boy born on Tuesday is Kwabena. My father was Kwabena. Born on Tuesday, Kwabena. K W A B E N A Kwabena. Wednesday, Kweku. K W A K U. I know the A is long. Kweku. It's a long sound. Kweku. K W A K U. Kweku. Thursday. Your name is Yao. Y A W. It's A. Yao. If you were born on Friday, your name is Kofi. You can say Kofi if you want. We don't mind, but it's Kofi. Kofi. And yes, Kwame, the character from Captain Planet, would be a boy born on Saturday. Kwame. K-W-A-M-E. Or some people do M-I. Kwame. Depending, as like I said, you have regional accents and that changes everything. But anyway, the core principles, the core concepts remain what I'm telling you. Kweju, Kwapena, Kweku, Yao. Kofi, Kwame. And the last one, who is a Sunday born, is Kwesi. Kweju, Kwapena, Kweku, Yao. Kofi, Kwame, Kwesi. And for the feminine version, Ajwa, Abna, Equia, Ya, Efia, Ama, and Akusia. These are the Akan day names. Yeah, everybody has one because everybody was born on a day. So pick one. What's yours? You can put it in the comments if you want. And then get to the website and order the right items which are complementary to the name. All right, the websites, there are two versions of them that you can visit and you can order from either. You can go to ama-manson.com and click on shop. amamanson.com, ama-manson.com or moneyama.com and if you go to moneyama you will click on products moneyama.com slash products well order your items start rocking them and also have the confidence to explain the names because you've watched this video catch you soon